Hello, good morning. Another beautiful day here in the Philippines. You know, behind that beautiful smile, that charming look of many, and I'm talking many, many Filipinos, it's not a criticism as putting them down. It's an observation after having been here some eight years in total. It's very easy to see that over time you get to see the real Filipino. The ones that you share space with. Girlfriend, housekeeper, wife, just lady friends. Because behind that smile lurks the enemy. Why does he say that, he said. Well, those that have got adult children in the home will soon discover that their, their lurks beneath the surface and the smiles a feeling of when they want to control you, that they can. And they do that so well because, number one, they can talk in a language that you don't understand. And, yes, I know, I can hear you, go, you guys saying it right now. Well, go and learn the language. Right, okay. We'll put that in a too hard basket. I learned lots of little words. Gets me by. But as to learn the whole language in, in its complexity, I don't think I'm young enough to do that. My mind is all here, but it just doesn't fall into place quite the same way. But back to my point. You're always going to have as a step-parent, you're up against it from the start, because you're not my father, you can't tell me this. Oh, didn't I build a house? Aren't you living in it? Don't you have all the luxuries that you never had before? Not to say that I'm wonderful, but do you not notice these things? Do you think it's okay? You're happy to go back to living in a shack? Of course, the answer will always be no. But the point that I'm making is that they will constantly challenge you. Now, I believe that that's a lack of respect. If you speak to normal people about the situation, you will soon discover that they're horrified that that happens. So clearly, it's not the norm. So, whilst they might be uh, in a quandary as to how to deal with you as a stepfather, they sure do know their own ability. And their ability includes talking about you, suggesting things that are not true, to twist the truth, to make it look like they are a victim of you, and all those sorts of things. They're very cunning in that way. But in the same breath, they're asking you for help. In the same breath, they get themselves into strife, and who do they run to but Dada. And with that in mind, Dada is very open to persuasion, in the sense that I don't want to see people unhappy, I don't want to see people upset, but I will say home truths, whether they like it or not. And the end result of that is that they don't like it, and they don't, they sort of resent you even suggesting it. It's okay if mother does it, it's okay if uncle does it, but not this fellow, because here in the Philippines, we are foreigners. Just remember that. We are foreign. We're not of the same blood. And therefore, we are treated differently. 
we are a complete separate race of people, regardless of where we've come from. We will always be a foreigner. It's a horrible expression, the way it's used, but we are foreign to them, and that's how they choose to put us into a little category. You know, like you used to hear on the American and English cop shows, where they talk about, I see male Caucasian, I see male black. You know, everybody wants to put you in a little, a little slot somewhere. Now, of course, driven behind all of that is money. It's not that they're desperate for it. It's not that they really need it. It's just that they want what you've got. And the problem there is, like I've constantly told you guys, no. What was that? No. Sorry? No. Once you start using that word, no, yes, you might get a bit of resistance, but also, over time, they will stop asking, because what's the point of asking something that you already know the answer? Oh, no, the answer. And one thing that young people always feel entitled, more and more this generation, and with coming with entitlement comes a certain arrogance. I mean, I'm 75. It's not unusual to be challenged physically by a young person, especially in the home. And I just won't take that. And I stand my ground. But it doesn't, it doesn't dissuade them. They still think they can do that. Now, the question would be, would they do that to their grandfather? Would they do that to their father? Would they do that to anybody else but you? The answer really is no. And why is that? Because, quite simply, they've grown up with no respect, first of all, for themselves. And no respect for others either. Unless, of course, they're Filipino. And when you come with the idea of making this your home. Of course, you have to throw out all of your preconceived concepts about living outside of America, England, Australia, France, wherever. Because without um, an, an overall understanding that this country is a completely new learning curve and of course that's all about the word respect and respect is not given always it's it's earned you can't just assume that because you're old that they're going to give you respect they should but they don't always and therefore <clears throat> whilst the smiles are there for others and when they want something oh boy they're there and but when they themselves are pulled up on some issue that they don't really want to talk about respect goes out of the window it's not too uncommon to hear young people telling you to fuck off don't tell me what to do. Don't talk to me. Go away. Well, that doesn't show respect. Because, as I said, they wouldn't say it to anybody else, but they say it to you. Now I can hear some of you howling in the wind, saying, well, I wouldn't put up with that, John. Well, I don't. And therefore, that's why I'm telling you this story, because it might help you realize that if you couldn't handle something like that, 
in your travel to look for your El Dorado, your paradise here in the Philippines with your beautiful Filipina, along with her kids as well, then clearly maybe you should give it a little bit more time to reconsider. Of course, when the children are younger, you have to have that respect and that certain order in the home, which is more easily obtained when they are younger. But again, you will be up against the ruling party, and the ruling party is mother. She does not want somebody else. How dare he share my bed and then tell my kids how to behave? That's just not Filipina. Well, it's not, but then we all have to learn to live together and we can't live in total chaos. We cannot live in disharmony. We have to find some kind of middle ground. Otherwise, I'm sad to say, we've maybe made the wrong choice in picking a Filipina as your future wife or girlfriend. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to my channel and press the notification button and you'll see this charming Englishman talking to you for his thought for the day. Bye now.